Norman Stock Bowling, Bear Bowling Broadcasting Radio. Radio tries to speak to a broad audience and put them in the mindset of something that, like Seabiscuit. I'd like to be this planet, Seabiscuit. Well, I tell you, you're running in the race. I'll call the race. You're Seabiscuit, and I'll call the race. I'd like to be the caller of the race, Seabiscuit, and the whole planet tune in. Huh? Only what you're remembering is your behavior. Priceless. And I could remind you of it. And your aspect, and your assets, and everything about you. And watch you, and oversee, and scream out and exclaim. Privilege. Like the last day before I hit the grave, and I knew it was, that was my last day. And every day, I'd remind you. Every day. Sea biscuit. I can see it in your eyes. That's what he was looking for. Well, I see it in your eyes. I did. I train racehorses. I've been looking for that look. And I found it. I just can't get to the owner of the horse. I can't get anywhere on the track. Damn. Not like the old days. Somehow something's missing. I'm not sure what it is. Something's missing and I'm caught in a dilemma. I got foot in a crack of a ship. It works my mind, my emotions. And you're watching me cook. Maybe I'm the citizen. The United States. Maybe I'm not alone in this. Call her the race and sea biscuit. And see that the same. Oh, I work as a radio broadcaster to find some conception to a Apply here that humans associate with myself and themselves. I find a force feel like he go, I look like a jet plane in movie Independence Day. Bzz. <laughs> yep. And there's always the entrapments and the fooling around by people who really that's not what's on their mind. I wonder, what the hell are you up to? What are you up to? You fool around with entrapment and fooling around. In any way, shape, or form. You think it's too late for entrapment here? Don't you think you're entrapped enough? How much more are you going to get entrapped? What are the cold cases that the police search now? The murders dead in the ground or the children sitting right in front of them? Cold cases. Lots of them. You got more cold cases three years old than you ever find in the ground. That's for sure. I'd address the cold cases, three years old, right now, officer. They're everywhere, and you are priceless. I'm not giving them that contribution that there will never be a cold case again. When the focus of the cold case moved to the cold cases, instead of man, like putting an 80-year-old man in prison for the rest of his life was something he did in Germany. A long time ago in a state of mass confusion by everyone across the globe. It does not make sense to take it out on that German man, 80 years old, with the horrible mistake that everyone to find one German man and intimidate him that way the rest of his life makes absolutely no remark to the quality of this experience and the class of it at all. No, it does not. My age, you know what, I suffer more. Why past two days do you suffer any more and are said, I suffer, he can take it, he can take it, he can take it, he can take it, he can take it. I'm pushing myself into suffering. Why? I am suffering. You're not suffering enough, huh? You can't train and discipline without suffering. Oh, no, that's part of training. Training and suffering have nothing to do with each other at all. And I've been trained by some good ones. And believe you me, when it came to suffering, you are not to hero. Ever. You do not 
supper and hero in any kind of martial arts and or preparational sport. And martial arts is for sport. I learned to kill. That's not what it's for. And no one teaching you martial arts to kill is worth a shit. I teach you one thing with martial arts, sportsmanship. My God, you got more fiber in sportsmanship than you got fiber in kill. I'll tell you that. Martial arts. Keep it well in mind. Said my instructor to me with eyeballs burning it into my <laughs> Now that's my instructor telling me, and I know how to kill. Well, that's not why I learned. Do you understand? Watch Kung Fu. I was a sports addict that loved the sportsmanship of living. The sports addict. Dummy. A prepared sports addict. <laughs> Soccer. It's serious. Soccer. They kick around stupidity. The ball of stupidity, <laughs> the ball of joy, glee, contribution, experience, hmm? wit, and adventure, curiosity. They kick that ball around. They know how to play soccer. And believe me, when they go for the goal, there's no, well, they missed it and defense got them. No, defense doesn't get them. Everybody has defense, but it never wins. <laughs> Sorry. Everybody scores every time they go to score. On defense, it's so cool to watch, only it doesn't. That's why the, the, the scores are so high. Because they never miss a goal. Ever. And defense doesn't win. Ever. And it's fun to watch them try. That is. They fall on their face and... You know, offense sometimes screws up and it's cool to watch. Only most of the time, you know, it doesn't. And if it does, it's part of the bait for defense to fall in the face the more. Mm -hmm. It's usually around pride. Let's pray too long, huh? <laughs>